just a moment before dark once again, eh? Huh? Yeah, we like to push the limits around here. Yeah, get the fire. Forty clicks we have to do tomorrow. So we can sleep, I guess, this way. This side you have to pick the cable. Okay. How does I end up with this? Yeah. One thing we didn't bring is a tarp because we forgot it. And uh, it seems like it's gonna rain and maybe it'll hold off. What an incredible last experience, though, eh? Oh, yeah. Just with me. I'm like, I'm really not that bummed that we didn't catch on, you know? Okay. Like, I am and I'm not, you know? Okay. Like, that was pretty cool, you know? Um, we, I have this nice dry cedar. So I could have just split the middle of this nice dry cedar up into small little toothpick sized pieces to use as tinder. But uh, a single granola bar wrapper was uh, all that was needed in the end. Dinner tonight will be a delicious morsel of happy yak pork a la Méditerranée, or in other languages such as English, Mediterranean pork. Happy yak is a product of Quebec, Quebec business. Very appropriate and also very delicious freeze-dried meal, I must say. You can just dump boiled water in it and mix it up. So this is the easy way, which I am currently in the process of. And what are you having for dinner, Tori? I am having uh, Lipton Sidekicks pasta, butter and herb. Seal that up. Very gourmet, high-end chefing, I know. I may have put too much water. Who, you? Me, yeah. I put way too much water. Did you? Yeah. Way too much, way too much. Well, it's not Atlantic salmon, but it'll get the job done. Too much water? Yeah. Oh. Too much water, never killed anybody. Well, actually, I think it technically can. I think it can, actually. Sorry, not to be that guy, but... This. That is a stiff hot chocolate. Oh my God. Well, 
it is time to eat. We are having uh, Tori's famous hot chocolate and spice rum. I'm getting into Mediterranean. Beef and pork. Oh. Good, right? That smells good. Is it, how is, oh, that's soup. Yeah, I, um, I added a little too much water to it. It is what it is. It's more hydrating this way. Mmm. Couscous in there, eh? Mmm. <laughs> Hot. Hot. Mmm. I love a good Lipton sidekick. Mmm. It's like a comfort food, isn't it? Really not much nutritional value to it. No. Take comfort in knowing that there's no nutritional value. Pretty oh, sweet pretty day sweet today, babe. Yes. What was your favorite part of the day? I just think all the um, the class ones that were pretty deep, just like big mm -hmm. standing waves. Not big yeah. standing waves, but just like a nice shoot that we mm. could just go down the middle and didn't have to really think about it or got some speed. Got some, yeah. Just that, that that was fun. There were a ton of those today. That was really fun. My favorite part of the day was when we were. Um, at the last rapid where we were trying to catch a fish and they oh, were just jumping in front of us and we were so excited and there's huge salmon like oh, leaping was... in the freaking air five feet away from it, ten that feet was, away from I, that, that is a very that's that's a very close second there was definitely a level of disappointment to that though well, crazy that we couldn't catch one eh they're mm. literally right there Shooting past our flies, you know? Now for my real favorite part of the day, looking at the maps. Well, we got a long way to paddle tomorrow, honey. Do you think we're going to be able to do it? I don't think we have a choice. I don't want to get up. Ah. Oh. 5.30 a.m. It rained pretty much all night last night. It's not fun to have to crawl out of the tent into the rain first thing in the morning. We need to make it far today and we're not even gonna bother eating a full breakfast and coffee. We're just gonna take a cliff bar as a suppository and hit the river. And she's picking up the rain that is. breakfast Quick. so we can get on the river mm. it would be better if it was Nutella but I ate it all before we left <laughs> just finishing on my cliff bar we managed to find the time to not take it as a suppository Probably not getting Cliff Bar as a sponsor anytime soon, eh? <laughs> so we're up at 5.30 to the hammering rain. 
getting on the river probably about quarter after seven and we're just gonna start pulling and paddling like crazy. We got between 35 and 40 kilometers to make it today. Um, we're not going to be really able to do any fishing. There's one area of the river near the bottom where we can fish. And if we're like surprisingly ahead of schedule, we might break out the rods and try there. But I don't think there's really any fish down river anyways. Uh, most of them at this time of year are a little higher up. Guess what? It's what? 706. What? So it is 706. So we are getting on the river early, which makes me feel a lot better. And basically it's just like a beast mode day. We got to make time and paddle and pull. It's supposed to rain all day long. So not a nice day, but the issue uh, of wet and rain is that you get cold and we're probably going to be working so hard. We're not going to feel it. So you ready, honey? Let's do this. All right. My pole is only eight feet long and it's like embarrassingly short in the rapids. Tori's got a 12 footer. But uh, it's getting the job done. It's what I had in a pinch. And, um, and it's working out fine. I could have just cut a tree and whittled it. But that takes a long time. So I just ended up buying a dowel. And just uh, putting these end caps on and sinking a bolt in the end. Last day on the river. Last day on the river. And we're gonna have to make it further than the first two prior days in totality. Here's an interesting uh, boat. Cedar strip, old school cedar strip, reinforced with uh, fiberglass. Probably weighs quite a bit. Square back, probably 20, 22 feet long. And the anchor is just a huge chunk of lead. Kind of a, a little bit of a sort of traditional historic boat, I'm sure, for the rivers of Gas Bay and probably uh, the Maritimes as well. So kind of cool to just take a second and check it out. Okay, so we have done four kilometers. 4.3. 4.3 kilometers. We left at 10 after seven and we're checking the time as a gauge on whether we're gonna make it to the end before dark. So I was just checking, uh the time on the inReach. Yeah, we left at 7.06, it's 8.03, and we did 4.3 kilometers, so. One hour. So if that's our, if that's our gauge, then 10 hours. Ten so, hours. so we'll, 5 p.m.? 5 p.m., so two hours before dark. Anyways, that let's go. That seems about right. Yeah, sure, it's too deep. Okay. This canoe's not that big. I feel like, you see how there's a, uh, there's the weight, right? So it's like they, uh, there's a weight in the front, and yeah. then they can raise and lower the anchor just by pulling it from the back, from the stern. Oh, I see. So they pull it right till it's hanging off the bow, and then it puts weight in the bow too, which is good. This is a one two. This is the one two, eh? That's probably super long. It goes what? right around this island. 
Are you nervous? Yeah. This is our first two of the day, so. It is. Let's see if I'm warmed up. I have been elected to go first. Where are you, Tar? We're about here on this little bend, and we're coming up to kilometer 25. So we're making pretty good time, eh? I think so. We'll check the time when we're at 20 kilometers. We're, we're looking at our time and the distance we're making, and we're thinking if we keep up this pace, we should be done before dark by a good bit. But uh, yeah, we gotta keep it up, though. We're going pretty hard, actually. But there's a few stretches where the water, the current was good and the river is shallow and you can't sink a paddle blade, but you can really get some speed with a pole and we were just kind of flying through those areas. And then where it's deep enough or where it's, it's too deep for me to use my pole, I just switched to the paddle and it seems to be working pretty well. So coming up, we have a swift, a one, two, a one, two, swift, two, a one, two, swift, and then another one too. Mandatory beef jerky break. We're getting hungry. Passed a couple of salmon fishermen, and we didn't just plow right through the hole they were fishing. We kind of went behind them and were really quiet just to not disturb the fish. For the next five kilometers, there's rapids. After that, there's nothing. So, you know, we might be done by like. One o'clock, so two o'clock. We might get to be done by like four. Back at the car. Yeah, but what if we run into a blasting headwind or something? 
I just keep getting gusts of like a headwind every once yeah. in a while. Okay, I need to bail my boat and then we'll get going. This water is just from, from the rain, but also just from my boots getting in and out. My boots fill with water and then drain in the boat. That's so cool. so cool. Okay, hurry up. It's deep in here, so I can't really just plant my yeah, pole. No, it's, it's deep and then boulder. Yeah. Oh, sh Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm spinning backwards. Oh my God. My pole is stuck. Well, that's interesting. What is happening around here, eh? Well, here we have a very long and boulder strewn rapid. And the reason this is challenging is because there's huge boulders and in between them are very deep holes, which are too deep to sink a pole which means it's very hard to uh, control the boat because you don't have an, uh, a hard surface to push against. Well, I don't know, I'm trying to decide if I want to just try paddling it. Because it's deep, eh? It's, it's deep. I just don't know how good I am at steering uh, in rapids yet. Yeah. With a paddle, but... Uh, do you want me to just do the whole thing and then you can see how I do and then you can decide after? Are you going to paddle or pull? I'm going to pull. I can wait for you here. Okay. She already made it down the tricky part. That was crazy, eh? Yeah, but that was never ending.
Oh, I'm so sore and so tired. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, this is a fun one at least. Super easy. Oh. Relaxing. That was a fun one, eh? That was fun. So this is a two. Looks pretty hard. Yeah, it's a two and that's our last two. This is our last two or our last rapid? Last number two and then we have a, a, a swift after that. Okay. Last class two of the trip. Let's see how it goes. Sharp right turn. Okay, he did it. Oh boy. Tori is opting to use the paddle because the rapid is deep enough Will she dump? Coming in hot. Oh, she's missing it. Doing good. She nails it. Oh my goodness. Nice one. <laughs> well, the rain has not let up, but we're pretty much past all the rapids. Tori ended in a bang and soloed a class two with a paddle. Uh, we're just paddling by some beautiful red cliffs here and finishing off about the last 10K of this river. Uh, the water's deep, we got the paddles out. We pretty much pulled the entire thing previously to this. So we're gonna have, uh, you know, we're gonna have to paddle pretty hard, but uh, we should be getting there in decent enough time. So it's just been pretty awesome. A little more to go though, still. Even the French love Wu-Tang. Well, we've just cruised back into town and uh, we're going under the pedestrian bridge, which we're just two, 300 meters from our vehicle. I'm, I can almost see the ocean. It's just around the next point. Very cool. Um, yeah, we've just been paddling for this last 10 kilometers. The river's been deep enough, decent current and uh, beautiful beautiful last stretch we thought it would be uh, more built up as we got closer to town but it still uh, looked pretty wild a few different cabins and cottages and uh, whatnot along the banks but uh, really glad that we decided to finish it and paddle it right to the end to complete a 40 kilometer day we're not done yet almost there the last bridge and there is the ocean we did it completed a 40 kilometer day today and there is the marina where our vehicle is waiting. Final 
stretches of our trip here. We're there. We did it. 40k day. 40 kilometers. Feel strong, that's for sure. My arms feel definitely like they got a workout. Is there a car there? Let's keep our keep our fingers crossed. There it is. Pajero. Kilometers. This idea was up. Come on, sorry. <laughs> So we just finished our trip on the Bonaventure River in Gaspé Peninsula, Quebec. An awesome, awesome river. Our last day was a big push. We did 40K, um, beautiful, beautiful river, crystal clear water, uh, mountains, endless rapids. And we were a little nervous coming into this because of the polling, but me and Tori figured it out pretty fast and we really enjoyed the, the new skill we got to learn in polling. Uh, tons of salmon, saw tons of salmon and uh, unfortunately we weren't able to land one but man we sure had fun trying and just saw so many salmon leaping in front of us in these deep pools camping was great weather wasn't the most perfect but you know what that's okay it just made the adventure more amazing and uh, it, was, it was tough to to do this final 40k push but uh feels good to be finished it and um, ready to head off on another adventure here in gas bay now we're heading to Forion National Park to backpack across the entire park on an intense three-day trek. So we got to be up at 6 a.m. to do that. So, man, we're not even going to have enough time to get drunk tonight, for Christ's sakes.